in this lesson we are going to talk about transistors okay you already must be knowing about it we are going to revise and learn new concepts okay so what is a transistor transistor is basically a three terminal device which contains two pn junctions okay your transistor is of two types you either have a NPN transistor or a PNP transistor okay let's understand what this means this is a transistor which has a N region a P region and a N region okay this is a NPN transistor okay and over here you have a PNP region which has a P region a N region and another P region okay so this is a PNP region you have two PN junctions over here okay and over here also you have two PN junctions okay your diode basically has three terminals so this is basically a ohmic contact and you have a lead coming out over here you have a ohmic contact and over here also you have a ohmic contact and these are your three terminals for your transistor same is for a pn junction or a pnp transistor okay you have three contacts through which you can have your leads which are serving as three terminals okay now your three regions in your transistor are referred by different names okay the middle region is known as your base this region is very lightly doped okay your this region is known as your emitter and this is very heavily doped okay and the last region that you have is known as a collector okay this is moderately doped okay so this guy is moderately doped okay the same is the case for a pnp transistor you have a base over here which is lightly doped you have a emitter over here which is heavily doped and you have a collector over here which is moderately doped okay now just see over here you have a pn junction okay between your base and emitter right so when it is forward bias your current is going to flow like this right similarly you have a pn junction between your base and emitter right and when this is forward biased your current is going to flow like this okay this is your base this is your emitter this is your collector so on the basis of this direction of current which is like this in npn and like this in pnp you're having different symbols for a npn and a pnp transistor okay your npn transistor is represented like this okay this represents your base okay this is your base this represents your collector and over here this represents your emitter okay and you are seeing that your current is going from base towards emitter which is the case over here in my npn transistor okay now your pnp transistor is having a symbol which looks like this here the arrow is this way okay this is your emitter this is your base and this over here is your collector now just see your current is going from emitter towards base okay just see over here your current is going from emitter towards base therefore this is a pnp transistor so just remember your notations for your npn and pnp transistor okay now let's learn about transistor configuration okay your transistor can basically be configured in three different ways okay your three ways are common base 